I just want to point out, I did not go off camera just to walk back to the chair to seem dramatic. I had to close the door. Okay. <laughs> so the video did not turn out the way I planned to. I was kind of planning to impress people with this video and it just sort of failed. I was hoping to teach people something and, and it turned out to not be as, as good as I thought it was going to be. Like I've seen other people do the same thing and it turned out great but I still have the video so why not just show it to you and then you can can just kind of judge for yourself if this was a failure or if it actually works do I look like an old man yeah. in this light <laughs> hold on <laughs> let's try that again this is going to be the worst recording I've ever done and when I say that I mean about the audio it is going <laughs> to be absolutely terrible it is not going to sound very good I put out a video yesterday talking about artificial intelligence when it came to web development why not see what else there's out there because people were giving so many good suggestions about image software that you could use to generate images using ai and i came upon a little tool developed by adobe and it's completely free you can just go in and use it and you can fix your audio completely apparently if you have any sort of background noise like birds chipping wind going into the microphone right now there's not much wind I was kind of hoping there was going to be a little bit more when I went out here because it was blowing quite a bit. But fixing audio is something that people like to do when they do videos like YouTubers and stuff. They need to do it. They don't like to do it. It's absolutely horrible to sit there <laughs> and, and fix audio. It's not, it's not something people enjoy to do. Hold on, I, I have to put this back on <laughs> for this gets to work. <laughs> Just like this. And the microphone is actually working now. So. so what I'm basically going to do now is I am going to take the recording. There we go. From my phone and put it inside my computer. Luckily, my wife showed me how to do so because apparently getting iPhone files to your PC is, is something that is not easy to do. But I'm going to take some of the recordings that I made outside with a lot of wind, a stream of water in the background, making noise and different things, run it through an AI in order to fix the audio to make it into studio quality and then see how it's going to sound like. <laughs> I didn't mean to give you a shock. So right now we have these five videos here that I'm going to extract the audio from and then run them through a AI in order to make it sound really good somehow. I'm going to take this off. <laughs> this is, uh, this was good for the outside when there was a lot of cold because we live in the north. But before we do that, I actually want to show exactly what kind of tool we're going to be using because as you can see, we have something called podcast.adobe.com, uh, which is a Adobe created tool to enhance audio or to tell you if there's something wrong with the audio quality of a microphone as you're talking into it. Uh, so up here, you can see we have quick tools where you can go down and do enhanced speech, which is what I'm I'm actually doing right now. If I were to go in and actually run the enhanced speech sample that we have here, because there is a sample, so if I were to go in and play it. I'm in a conference room with the window open and it's pretty echoey in here too. And then we Not can turn the on the enhanced speech. Audio. Yet with enhanced speech, all of the background noise and echo is gone. As if I recorded this in a professional studio. I'm this is really impressive, I think. So let's see if we can do something with my footage to, to like get the same effect here. So inside Adobe Premiere, I'm just gonna go and extract the audio. So I'm gonna pull in the footage that I have. So I have this video here. I'm just gonna drag it inside my project and I'm just gonna drag it inside my timeline. And from that, we're just simply gonna go in and export the audio from it. We're not gonna worry too much about the footage. We're just gonna get the audio in the first place here. There's probably a better way to extract audio. I'm just gonna <laughs> do it my way here. So now I have my audio clip here. So what I can do is I can just go in here and drag and drop it. And then it's going to upload it and enhance the speech of this audio to see how it's going to sound like. So without the enhancement, this is how it's going to sound like. So now we have a little bit of audio from a stream right next to me. It is really loud just to say it. So I want to find out if we can actually have the audio just like kind of pop out. Okay, to me, that sounds horrible. <laughs> There's wind blowing. We have a creek in the background. Uh, I'm talking, but it's not really enhanced in any sort of way. It doesn't sound like a, a podcast or something like that. So let's see how it sounds like if I turn this on. So now we have a little bit of audio from a stream right next to me. It is really loud, was to say it. So I want to 
find out if we can actually have the audio just like kind of pop out in studio quality using AI. Okay, that sounds very robotic, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> I mean, I did have to pick the noisiest clip ever. Okay, so now we're going to do another audio clip where I don't have a creak and, and everything running in the background with the wind blowing directly into the microphone. Um, so let's try something a little bit more normal. <laughs> so to speak. Again, I, I just want to point out here, I'm not advertising for AI saying that, oh, it's going to solve all your issues. Like it's, it's, I'm showing you a tool that I found and I want to demonstrate what it can do right now when it comes to AI fixing audio enhancement. Um, but I do also want to point out here that this is fixing really terrible audio. But what if you take like a cell phone and you're sitting inside a room like I'm doing right now and you try to record into a cell phone, you don't have access to a expensive microphone can you make a cell phone in a regular room sound like studio quality? Because that is going to be a huge difference to a lot of people that might want to do, you know, videos or voiceover or being a YouTuber or something. So that is going to be something we're going to test after this clip here as well. There we go. Okay, so this is going to be the worst recording I've ever done. And I'm pointing it directly at the sun. That is, of course, what I'm supposed to do. My wife is next to me, by the way. That sounds really good. I just want to say there was birds chipping. There was wind in the background. It, it wasn't as bad as wind and a big creek right behind me, but that was pretty terrible too when I was recording it. So having this clean audio here, I couldn't tell that there was anything going on in the background is pretty amazing. So we're going to drag in the enhanced audio here. And I'm going to go in and drag it underneath my video. So I'm going to untoggle the new one and play it. There we go. Okay, so this is going to be the worst recording I've ever done. And I'm pointing it directly at the sun. That is, of course, what I'm supposed to do. My wife is next to me, by the way. So we have like uh, birds chipping, there's wind going on. It is definitely not a optimal environment. If I were to go back again and do the new recording here instead of the old one, there we go. Okay, so this is going to be the worst recording I've ever done. And I'm pointing it directly at the sun. That is, of course, what I'm supposed to do. My wife is next to me, by the way. I definitely think there is room for improvement here because it does sound a little bit... Um, you can definitely tell there's been a lot of effects put on top of this audio to make it sound good. But imagine being in a environment where you want to sort out any sort of background noise because you want just your voice to be heard, then this is definitely going to be a lot better. So now let's try something a little bit different because not everyone has access to a good microphone. I have one right here. I have one sitting over there. I have one sitting over there. Not everyone has access to a microphone. So what if you took something like your cell phone and you tried to record some audio for, for example, creating YouTube videos or something that you wanted to upload, but you don't have access to the hardware, can the software then go in and actually fix it for you to make it sound really professional? Today, we're going to do a tutorial where we're going to talk about how to create PHP code. Inside this video, we're going to learn how to create variables. We're going to learn about different data types. And we're also going to talk a bit about conditions in order to figure out how to program as a complete beginner. That one take there is so much better than what I usually do when I'm sitting here actually recording videos and tutorials. <laughs> I do a lot of re-recording <laughs> because I mess up or something. Um, okay, so we're gonna take this clip here. So now let's go ahead and hear this audio to see if it actually sounds good. Cause I don't know, I did not test this out before we started this video here. So I took this regular studio recording. There's no real noise happening other than my computer making some noise, you know, cause it's right next to me here. But if I were to listen to this raw, where's the no audio? <laughs> oh, okay. I, I actually exported it while it was muted. No wonder it took so long. It's literally like a 17 second clip. And I was wondering why does it take so long for it to, to make something happen to it? So now with this enhanced version of my audio, let's hear if it actually sounds like studio quality because it should sound like you took it inside a audio program and actually made it sound really good, right? So if I listen to this without the enhancement, Today, we're going to do a tutorial where we're going to talk about how to create PHP code. Inside this video, we're going to learn how to create variables. We're going to learn about different data types. And we're also going to talk a bit about conditions in order to figure out how to program as a complete beginner. Okay, so let's listen to the enhanced version. I haven't heard it yet. So I am just as surprised as you are when we play this back. 
Today, we're going to do a tutorial where we're going to talk about how to create PHP code. Inside this video, we're going to learn how to create variables. We're going to learn about different data types. And we're also going to talk a bit about conditions in order to figure out how to program as a complete beginner. Is it just me or does that sound very robotic? Like it does not sound like, like it's enhanced. Is it the cell phone not working? I, th I think it might be the cell phone not working. Let's try and do a studio recording from a microphone and see if we can get any sort of quality out of this. Okay, so I just recorded a piece of audio using Audacity, which is a free software, by the way. So for any person who wants to make YouTube videos, this is a software you can use if you don't have Adobe. Let's go ahead and export this as MP3 and then run it through the AI to see if we can get some really good audio quality going out from this software here. I doubt it by now, but let's try. <laughs> I've been waiting for a while now. And it's like a, a really short clip. I did notice when I accidentally exported a, a piece of audio without anything on it, it took a long time for it to actually do something to it. So maybe it is kind of seeing studio quality as being like, like it's really trying to figure out what can we do with this? Oh, it's done. Okay. Let's uh, listen to the raw version first. This is a test. I am testing out the microphone to see if we can get some good audio going on using this AI software. Okay. Now let's listen to the enhanced version. This is a test. I am testing out the microphone to see if we can get some good audio going on using this AI software. I think we can conclude here that the AI software is definitely not really, it's not perfected yet. It, it is good. It is definitely taking uh, really bad footage and it is converting it into something that is more usable if you were to, let's say accidentally record something that you didn't know there was like a fan going on in the background or a, 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 a creak or something, you know, birds chipping. How can you remove that, right? So clearly this is a tool you can use for certain circumstances, but I think when it comes to just like studio quality, I don't, I don't really think it's, um, it sounds like text to speech. You know, when you type something into the computer and it, it tells you how it sounds like, like it, it talks out loud and it sounds very robotic. So what is the point with this video here? Because originally I planned to record this video to amaze people watching. So you can say, hey, I took this footage in the forest and I turned it into really good studio quality using AI software, um, which is definitely not what just happened. But I do think it's very interesting to see how far AI has actually come when it comes to, for example, image enhancing, you know, creating images out of nothing. I did get a lot of suggestions in the last video on different software that could be used. My friend did also send me a couple of links to uh, some image generating software. And when you take a look at something like ChatGPT that can generate information for you, so you can go in and say, hey, could you create a learning schedule for learning HTML and CSS? Then it's going to spit it out for you if you go in and you try to do audio enhancement, then they are working on something that can be used. So even though it's not perfected yet, we still have a lot of things that is being worked on. So even though it is Adobe podcast beta, which is not really the tool we were using just now, it is still part of what that website has to offer. So it, I would assume it's still in a beta, right? But it's just really interesting to see. Like AI is something that is going to become part of our everyday life in maybe five to 10 years. It is something that is going to be a thing. I do know there's some people sitting out there thinking, oh, another YouTuber talking about AI and testing things out and trying to impress us with how far AI has come, you know, jumping on the hype train, hoot, hoot, you know. <laughs> But it is something that is here and it is something that is going to be part of people's lives, whether people like it or not. It is something that is going to become a tool for you to use at some point in the future. So it is important to stay up to date on what is happening out there because you can't just close your eyes because you don't like it because then you're going to fall behind and other developers out there that has been teaching themselves how to use these AI tools are going to be far ahead of you. So it's very important to keep up to date with different AI that is happening right now. I personally think so. Um, so taking a look at something like this, even though it's not perfect and we definitely did not get audio that I would personally use inside a recording, I still think it is quite impressive what it did. So with that video, with that video, with that said, we concluded this video here. So with that said, um, I hope to see you guys in the next video.